hold all your doors open. Hey, you. Hi, darling. What? You look surprised to see me. No, it's just that I wasn't expecting you. Oh, come on. Don't be such a bore. Give your sweetheart a hug. Are you... Are you alright? Yeah, sure, sure. It's just that I wasn't expecting you budging in like this. What did you say? Barging in? I mean, the way you left last time I was at least expecting the call before you show up here. Oh, come on, my love. You are my boyfriend. I love you. I love you so much. But what happened last week was really sad because you didn't wait to ask me what happened before flaring up. Please, please, please. That was last weekend. And I wouldn't want us talking about it again. Okay. Okay. You win. Look at you. You look really trimmed. You're not feeding well. But not to worry, I am here now. All through the weekend, you are going to so eat and get fat. First, we start with your coconut rice. Get here. Wendy, you are not spending the weekend here. Why? Hi, my name is Uchi. Oh, honey, what are you doing here? We've Please. not finished inside. Yeah, I'll be there in the office. I'm coming out. I'll soon join you. Okay, let me, let me sort this out. Okay. Okay. Wait, is she a star or something? Please, baby, listen. When I come out, I'll do everything. Okay, I'll join you. Yeah, don't Come keep on. me waiting, right? I'm coming very soon. Okay, one. Just come, just come. Come in, okay. Please, that is the reason you haven't been taking your call all week? That? I wanted to explain this to you. Okay? Explain what? It's, it's, it's not like that. How is it? Go on, just tell me how is it? Winnie, wait, wait. You shut up. You are such a dog. I came here last week. I was depressed. I cried. You didn't ask me what was wrong. All you wanted was sex. And because I refused, you bring the woman home? Winnie, this has nothing to do with sex or last weekend, okay? You know why I didn't confide in you? Because of your attitude. The doctor had earlier told me that I was... Please save it, okay? I'm not interested. It's over between you and I. What? You heard me. It's over. I'm tired of you nagging and uh, complaining. Judge. Judge. Please, please. Judge. The doctor said that I am three months pregnant for you. Really? Yes. Congratulations then, okay? Keep it if you want to, but I advise you to get rid of it because you know why? No woman can trap me down with pregnancy. Judge. Judge, you trap? You wanted to marry me? Fine, but I changed my mind. A trouble? <sighs> listen, listen to me, listen to me. Listen, listen. Try to understand. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just that we, we're not more compatible. Please, please. I'm sorry for all. Please. You're two months gone. I love him. Winnie, I just said this is stupid. I mean, the man said he doesn't want you anymore. He even wants you to get rid of this pregnancy. Oh my God. Are you stupid? I'm scared, Jenny. I'm scared. I mean, I, I cannot imagine myself terminating Judge's baby. I can't. Have you thought about what your parents' reaction would be like? I don't. Yeah. Really? You want to have a baby without a father? My child will have a father. He will change his mind. He has to. I don't want to do anything stupid until he does. <laughs> he has to. He can't do this to me. He can't. <laughs> he has to change his mind. He has 
Am I being stupid? He can't possibly call off what we have. I know he loves me. Yes, he loves me. He said so himself severally. He loves me. I know he loves me. No, he can't do this to me. He can't let shame come to me. George, George, you can't do this to me. I wanted him to be a man. My man. That was all I was trying to do. I wanted him to stop being childish. Is this where I went wrong? No, I can't let him go this way. He is not himself. He's not himself. I've made my decision and I want you to leave. Hi! 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 What is she doing here? I just told her to leave. And, and you? It would be better for you to go and stop coming here before I will be forced to throw you out. George, are you sure you know what you're doing? Yeah, I wasn't sure of what I was doing with you, but I'm very sure of what I'm doing with Ochi. Yeah, thank you. Oh, get him. What are you doing? That's the door. He means business. I'm short of words. I'm so confused. And I'm wondering, I mean, what can make a man change his mind overnight? Girl, the same reason that makes a woman wakes up in the morning and all of a sudden, ta-da, she doesn't love her man anymore. But then the point here is you need to take a firm decision and move on with your life. That's what people with strong character do. I cannot terminate this baby. <laughs> So you're ready to be a single parent? I don't know. You, I, I'm just confused. Winnie, that is called foolishness. Okay? Jenny, you know I'm not a very strong person. I'm extremely emotional. This baby is my life. And I am going to have this baby with or without George. Listen, girl, I... I understand your judgment, okay, but I totally disagree with your philosophy. But then, congratulations to the newest mom in town. So do we break the news to your folks now? No! No! My mother is going to die of shock, you know that. So how do you intend to hide it from them? I don't know. I'm still thinking. Thinking? <laughs> Winnie. You are three months gone. Take it easy on me, please. Yes. I'll run away. I'll run away. You what? Well, you said firm people make strong decisions. I have made up my mind to run away. I'll stay away from anyone who knows me until I have my baby. That's what I'm going to do. I ran away from the house to a distant town where it was easy to conceal my true identity. I had little money, some money I had obviously saved, so I used it to rent a little apartment. My money ran out even before I had settled down. Every day I go out to look for something to do in order to earn money, but no one was willing to employ a pregnant woman.
I'm often hungry, but I dare not let my neighbors know how difficult things are with me, lest they become suspicious of my story. But I had a friend, a tailor, whom I met when I newly moved in and needed to make new dresses because my old ones were getting too tight for me. So, fine auntie, what is it that you want to talk to me about? Um, I spoke with my husband today and he said he would send me money through Western Union. But the problem is, I don't have any money on me at all. I know I've bothered you a lot, but I can't help it. Please, eh, please, I need you to assist me again. Fine auntie, that will not be a problem. So, like, how much are we talking about here? Ah, I've bothered you too much. I've disturbed you too much. Anything you give me is fine. Anything you can afford. Fine auntie, you see, I have always admired you. So why don't you just move in with me so that this loneliness and you suffering with this condition will be over? You see, my wife just left me with my two kids. So my house will be very comfortable for you. You're a terrific cook. Do you know that? You just told me. I know why he's praising my food. Because immediately after this, the next thing for him will be sex. However, I think God I'm feeding well, going for my antenental, and taking my drugs regularly. I mean, that has been my only benefit for what I'm going through. I am determined to have a healthy baby. finish my food. A woman in my condition needs a lot of rest, no stress. Oh, I'm stressing you. I'm stressing you in my own house. I hope you will not be offended if I go out there and get another girl into this house who will know who is stressing each other. I'm stressing you in my own house. in your face. Hmm? I didn't say I wouldn't do now, did I? What is it? Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh -uh. I never said I wouldn't do. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Now you're talking. You know you're supposed to respond to me. Anytime I want it, anywhere within this house. I know, you're right. But I'm here, at your service. You may do with me as you please. That is the spirit. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Of course, like that first. Oh, honey, I forgot to inform you. What is it? I'll certainly need money to move from here to later. Money? Yeah, that's not a problem. I will give you whatever you want. But let me just let's finish this first. I'm at your service. I'm fine. <laughs> This one is not a ginger man, this for me. Winnie, are you alright? Yes, welcome. No, 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 that's not usually how you welcome me. No. Come, 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 come. I'm not feeling too far. I'm sorry. I'm hungry. I hope you made food. No. But there's bread in the fridge. You can have that and tea. What? Why do I keep you? Tell me, why do I keep you when you cannot do something as simple as making food for me? Why? Baby, I just told you that. Winnie, what are you still doing here? I've been waiting for you inside the room. What do you mean by that? You know what I mean. Let's go inside. No, I'm feeling feverish. I need to stay warm. Ah. In that case, I will keep you warm. Maybe I should tell you. I got news that my mother is dead. It's a pity. But how could that stop us from making love? See, I have told you that I am not concerned about your past. You don't know how that can stop us from having sex? Yes. You will never lay your hands on me again. Really? <laughs> I will never lay my hand on you. That means you will stop eating my food. And you will also stop living in my own house. Igwe, I'm almost due for delivery. You can't send me away now. Am I your husband? I only accepted you here on the ground that you are going to help me and I will help you. Let me tell you, first thing tomorrow morning, you will pack your things and leave my house. Or else, I will force that bastard out of your womb. Please. First thing! Okay. 
me since I was made In this love In this love of mine In this love. I'm the victim and I'm betrayed In this love In this love of mine In this My love. tribulations and rejections Promise is broken as well I can feel it, can't believe it That I will suffer this way Give me my joy, I've got to be happy Everything other is fake Can't just deny it, I need my peace Give it to me Can't the hospital allow me all them? I'll come back and pay up Whom can I think of? Except if you can come up with one Oh, this baby, this baby, I would have gotten rid of you when I could. What do I do? Go on, tell me, child, what do I do? What do I do? Hmm. Okay, okay. Will they allow me to see the child once in a while? No. If you must hand over your baby for adoption, you have no more legal rights over her. Besides, certain documents need to be signed by you. Then I will make sure you are adequately compensated. I don't want any money. I don't want any money. I think we are not selling my child. If they can just pay the hospital bills, I don't want any money. I don't want any money. I can sell my child. I don't want any money. I don't want any money. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at my God. Oh my God! Look at you, girl. Come on, don't do this. I miss you. <laughs> Jesus, how are you doing? Pretty. Oh my goodness, um, what a voice. What of your I, I didn't come with her. Oh my goodness, so tell me about her. She looks like you, her father. Tell me what she looks like. Oh my goodness. I did what was best for her. Girl, I'm sorry you lost her. I didn't lose our journey. I gave her away. Really? I gave her away. Come on, girl, let's go. Let's go. What was I supposed to do? What was I supposed to do? 
watch out for money. Girl, I am so going to dress to kill. You know everybody's gonna be there who's wearing ties going to be there. I know. That's why I'm wishing you so much luck in your quest in search of a man. She can't talk with that. Ain't she coming? Nope. Why? I'm on Jennifer. Look around you. I have a pretty home. I have a good business. But I am not happy. I know, girl, I know what. You need to come to that party. And what you need is a man that you can share the success with. And the man you'll find at Lucy's party. No. Yeah. I need my child. My daughter. The one I stupidly gave away. I am missing my child. Girl, you need to find a man, you know, to, to you know, share the success with, start a family with, and then every other thing will just fall into place and you will be happy. Even if I get married to a man who's the envy of every woman, and then I have dozens of children, I still cannot forget that one I foolishly gave away. I can't. Where else do I start searching for my daughter, other than the town where I gave her away? So I arrived one sunny day and checked into a hotel. I can vividly remember the day Auntie Ngozi came to the hospital with a lady whom she said was her sister. That was the day I heard her tell this lady she said was her sister where she resides. I think there was a sort of arrangement for this strange lady who practically avoided my scrutiny to meet her gaze. It didn't matter to me then, but now, I think that lady came to inspect my child. Well, I will find her. How old are you? I'm six years. Hmm. And what class are you in? KG2. Oh, KG2. That's big. Tell me, where is daddy? Daddy is in Calapa. Daddy is in Calapa. You want ice cream? You want ice cream? You still want ice cream? Mom, Mom, be welcome. Mom, this answer will be ready for you. Good day, Auntie Gozi. I'm certain you still remember me. Ah. Yeah, I do. And to what do I on this visit? Oh. Angel, why don't you go to your room while Mommy and I have um, a little chat? Angel, go to your room. I'll see you later. Oh, please. Sit. This is my house. You don't tell me to sit down. Now, what do you want? Such a shame. Now that isn't a way to speak to an old friend, is it? You listen. We had a business deal and it's ended there. Besides, you signed your daughter away. Remember? 
Oh, and if you want money, I... I don't want money. I want you to tell me who you sold my daughter to. And God help you if you don't. You cannot threaten me. We had a business transaction. I just legal. Because you realized I was vulnerable and would certainly give in to your evil manipulation. You didn't want your child. You prefer to go back to your old ways. You should be grateful to me that I was there to rescue you. I am grateful. That is why I'm willing to pay you any amount of money you want for that information. Oh my goodness. Girl, I've got good news for you. What is it? <laughs> what is it? Girl. Drinking yourself to death will not solve any problem, you know that. Anyway, listen up. I found Mr. Frederick Mwakocha. <laughs> what? <laughs> you have? Yes, I have. And you know what, girl? You better count yourself lucky because right now they're looking for a trained nanny for their daughter. <gasps> My child? No, girl. Their daughter, not yours. Listen, you gotta be careful because Mr. Frederick is very, very connected. And God, if you mess around with his daughter, you get into big trouble. Jennifer, yeah. I just want to see my child. Just touch her, hold her, kiss her, whatever. Even if she doesn't get to know I'm her mother, I just, I just want to see her. I just that's okay. You will because, girl, I've got everything sorted out and worked out perfectly for you. Call me the genius. Yes, listen, I've even gotten a forged certificate for you as a trained, qualified child psychologist, girl. Yes. And so now all you have to do is just go there, impress them, and ta-da! The job is yours. <laughs> Thank you so much. I told you I got you. <laughs> That's okay. Um, I'll be my self. Good morning. Ah, good morning. Good morning. Um, I presume you're here for the interview. Yes. 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 Okay. okay. Let me have your credentials. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, my name is Ego Namani, Fred Wokocha's assistant. And I'm Daffy. And okay. And you're welcome. Please have a seat. Thank you. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, but okay. Um, uh, your credentials, please. Thank you. Um. Just give me one minute, now I'll get back to you. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy. Everything out of respect, can't just deny it, I need my peace. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I'm not happy, sir. Oh, yes. Have a seat. Excuse me, sir. Sit down. Thank you. How are you? How do you do, sir? Well, you seem a little younger than I expected. I mean, out of all the candidates, you seem to be the youngest. That is okay. I'm impressed with your credentials. Thank you, sir. Very much, if I must say so. I can see here you are a trained nurse for child care and also you teach at a nursery school. Yes, that was before I went back to school to study child psychology. I love children. Everything about them intrigues me. Interesting. I see. So now, why are you want to move? I'm a very curious person. Handling children, playing with them is just not enough for me. I want to learn more. How to understand them. What they like. Their mood swings. Everything. I see. Well, there seems to be a little contradiction here. I mean, why would you want to restrict yourself to one child when you've got so many children that just might fulfill your curiosity better, won't it? Money. The salary is attractive. Money? Okay, so in essence you're saying if somebody else offers you more money than I'm offering you, you will abandon my word. Not if your word is challenging and interesting. Ah, I like your straight to the point answer. If I may ask, are you married? No, sir. Why do you want to get married to make your own babies? I mean, you love children. I guess I'm not lucky with men. 
but taking care of children is very fulfilling for me. Anne? Yes, Anna Duffy, sir. Yes, Anne. I am a very busy man. And I've got a six-year-old daughter who can be very mischievous. So I need someone who is experienced and can teach her ethics. Do you think you can handle that? That's exactly what I was trained to do, sir. I can. Okay. Well, I hope my daughter gets to like you. She can be funny at times. I, I hope so too, sir. Congratulations. You just got the job. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Who is she? This is Auntie Anne. Okay? She'll be here to take care of you from now onwards. Say hello. Auntie, how are you going to be my mommy? Watch your arm. I see she likes you already. That's a good sign. Let's go inside. Bring in the stuff. Yours is a different case. Congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. I'm honored. Great. Great? No, no, I'm, I'm fine. I was meaning to ask you something, sir. Okay. What about her mother? I mean your wife. You're asking me that question, I suppose, because of what Sophia asked you about the car? Well, let's just say... My wife has been going away for some time now, and she's just looking out for anybody to play mom. Yes, sir. Well, sir, what she said, she said because it's truly her wish. In essence, it's certain she's missing her real mother. You're the expert. You tell me about it. Sit down. It's okay, have a seat. You can be whatever you want to be to my daughter. That's why you're here. For as long as she's happy, I'm happy. I'll do my best, sir. I can see your luggage has been taken to your room. Oh, yes. yes Would you sir. want to freshen up, you know, before finally getting to meet Sophia and get to know who she is? <sighs> certainly. Most certainly, sir. I honestly can't wait to discover everything about her. Great. So I guess I will be seeing you. Thank you, sir. How long has she been gone? Mm, it's over a year now, and ever since then, there has been peace in this house. You sound like you never approved of her. <sighs> Not just me. Everybody in this house doesn't like her. She's so troublesome. She orders everybody around like slaves. Um, Nara, can you tell me the relationship between Sophia and Mrs. Mwakocha? Mm. Besides buying her expensive toys and gifts, there was virtually no communication between mother and child. 
At times, I used to wonder if she was actually Sophia's mother. Because even Sophia doesn't relate well with her. Thank you very much, Lara. You're welcome. I hope that after taking my shower and coming down, you'll tell me more things that will help me relate well with Sophia. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, I think a girl likes you. <laughs> Why do you say that? Yes, by giving you a room up here instead of the boys' quarters or even downstairs where I'm staying. It really shows he approves of you. Lara. Mm -hmm. Common sense shows that he wants me to take very good care of Sophia. And for that reason, I should stay close to her. If she says so. Come on. No. Auntie Van! You? Come here. <laughs> ah! Good girl. Now tell me. What were you up to? Atami, we're waiting for you. Awesome. Good girl. So. You wouldn't mind if I have a little chat with them. I can see both of you are getting along quite well. I'd rather you choose bonding quite well, sir. <laughs> All right, bonding. <laughs> have a seat. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, what do you want to talk to me about? Um, actually, sir, I wanted to seek your permission to go through Sophia's things, the toys she plays with, her favorite storybooks, even her clothing. That way I get to know what she likes and what she dislikes. Fantastic. I think it's a brilliant idea. Do you mind if Auntie went through your things? You don't mind. Great. You should do just that. Thank yes. you very much, sir. Um, also, I'd love to liaise with the cook on her meals. I really want her to eat healthy. <laughs> that reminds me. It brings, it brings back memories. I remember my... Mother used to tell me, Frederick, you need to eat your spinach, you need to eat your fruits, and do away with all the junk food your father spoils you with. It does bring back memories. Daddy, do you like junk food? Well, sweetie, that was then. I don't eat junk food anymore, and that is what Aunt is trying to say. You need to eat healthy. So you eat what she gives you, okay? And Daddy, we aunt can't be my mommy. Hold on. And I leave you totally in charge of Sophia. Whatever you deem fit. Do it. Thank you so much. Can we ask be my mom? <laughs> Let me just call in staff. chef and you're really familiar with Lara. Lara, yes Lara. Everyone that's Anne, she's here to take care of Sophia. Now we expect you to cooperate with her and take whatever directives she gives when it comes to Sophia. From what she eats, what she wears, where she goes, practically everything. Right? Is that clear? Yes. Sir. Right. Okay. Any questions? Yes. And you guys be nice. Yes. Alright. You can go now.
can I have some ice cream? No, my love. No ice creams for now. But it's what I want. No! It's time for studies, so no ice creams, okay? I'll tell my daddy. You come back here, Sophia! Come back here! You listen. There are thousands and one children out there who'd want to enjoy the kind of privilege that you are enjoying. Give them an inch and they will rule the world. If you do not read your books and listen to your elders, those who read their books and listen to their elders will certainly be something prominent in future. And you, you will be a nobody. Do you want to be a nobody when you grow up? No. I, I want to be a newscaster, a doctor and a beauty queen. You listen, my child. Those dreams cannot come true if you do not study. So what is it going to be? Ice cream or your books? My books. Good girl. Needless to tell you, I gave birth to my baby safely. A baby girl whom I gave out at birth. However, stories they say are sweeter when told in beats. As the suspense and intrigues keep you yearning for more. Blood they say is thicker than water. The love between a mother and a child is bonding. I have found my own child. Besides, I need somebody to look after Sophia when she's splashing in the pool. You should come along. Um, I... No, I... I yes, I can, but I don't have the appropriate dress to swim. I don't think that should be a problem. You know, they, they, they sell um, swimsuits there. Full body, bikini, if you wish. We can buy it. It'll be fun, come on. Five minutes? Five minutes. Right on.
Fred Wings 7 3. Thank you. You need to walk hard, eh? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm Federa. <laughs> I'm going to swim now. Okay. okay. Let me later. pick up my bag. Sorry, sir. I didn't know you were here. It's okay. I didn't want to interrupt. I saw you were having fun. How's Sophie doing? My love. Good. You having fun? Yes. Look at me. You having fun? Yes. Good. Let me just change and then I will join you, okay? Okay. Sure? Give me a smile. Let me see your beautiful teeth. There we go. Again. Back to again. Back to again. Back to again. I'm back to Why aren't you eating? I'm not hungry. How do you mean? I want ice cream. Now don't be silly, young woman. Don't be silly. You haven't had anything solid to eat since morning. Don't be silly. Eat your food. Sophia, what do you want? I want ice cream. Ice cream? That's fine. I will buy ice cream for you. No, sir. She can't get ice cream. But that's what she wants. Well, everything she wants is not what she needs. I mean, she can't get everything she asks for. Eat now. Okay. Please. Eat. He's a very busy man. If you have a domestic affair, why don't you go home and wait for him after work? Sorry, um, what's your name again? Anne. Anne. Would that be all? I was thinking that perhaps... I'm so sorry. Uh... Thank you very much, sir. Good doing business with you. I'll give you a call. Have a good day. It's just that I felt that the domestic affairs should be handled at home. Yes. Well, now when it comes to Anne, Anne takes care of Sophia and she can come in and out as she wishes. Right? Okay, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Good. Anne. Wow. 
Uh, is there anything you would like me to do for you? No. Actually, I wanted to comment on your dress code. As much as I want you to be trendy, as my assistant, I would appreciate it very much if you don't look too suggestive. Oh. Okay. Yes, sir. I'll do just that. I'm sorry, sir. Um, actually, sir, I couldn't help but notice what you were working on last night before you went to bed. I don't know if it's right for me to say it, as my duties end in the house. Well, um, <clears throat> I wouldn't know what you're talking about until you tell me what it is. I don't know if it's right or wrong. Well, sir, what you were working on actually caught my fancy because it has to do with the stock market. <laughs> oh, that. Okay. Um, I actually, I was introduced to this broker by my PA about two, three days ago. And he advised me to invest in the capital market. And I did just that. Well, sir, most people actually think that the capital market is finished because of the recent recess and the fact that some members of the public were actually duped by brokers. But no, sir, there is going to be a boom. And that boom will favor only those who invest wisely. Well, I guess it will favor me. That is why I invested heavily. No, sir. You're buying the wrong shares. How, how, how do you mean? The reason why investors lose their money is because they are fooled into buying overvalued stock. Now that is the mistake you are about to make. The stocks you're buying are empty. How do you know about this? My father, he is a retired stockbroker. I actually picked up a lot from him. But if you permit me, sir, I could study the market and advise you wisely. That's if you don't mind, of course. Sounds interesting. Uh, okay, sure. Why not? I mean, I have had my success in business because of my instincts and being humble. First and foremost, sir, you have to recall all your shares. Pull out all your shares. I know you certainly lose some funds, but trust me, it's a wise decision that you will not regret. Okay. Well, I appreciate this. Thank you very much. It's not for free. And of the day I was doing pay back, you wouldn't mind. <laughs> no, I won't. I, it will be a pleasure to pay my debt. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I should. Uh, uh, Sir. Hold up. That reminds me. Here you go. Sir. Your stockbroker advised me to make an investment in the capital uh, market, and that would have been disastrous. And here is a revelation. She's actually a financial whiz kid, and I didn't know about it. She detected it. Oh. And here I am. I would have lost lots of money. Thanks to her. Yeah, thanks to Anne. And thank you. I'm so sorry on my path. <laughs> All right. Yes. But I'm going to ask the cook to make it for you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. See you at home. Call your stock broker. Ask him to see me immediately. Oh, I'm going to do that, sir. Hey, 
Missed me? Of course, like hell, I missed you. Look, put on some weight, girl. Well, hey. I guess, I guess I am. I am so happy. That's why I'm adding weight. So, how's your baby? Good. Just see for yourself. She is so pretty. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. She is so adorable. Yes, so precious, yes. girl. Aww. So, how is it between the both of you, the bonding? My goodness, we are just bonding like bread. And what are you so I'm so happy for you, girl. I am really excited for you. Thank you. But, you know, girl, this is just going to be temporary, right? No. No. It's permanent. I've lost my child for too long and I am not willing to let her go again. Unless my boss asks me to leave, I am going to stay with her. Of which, I will not give him an opportunity to ask me to leave. Rini, what about your life, your real life, your career? What's up with that? I'm ready to give up everything. I gave her away out of my foolishness and selfishness and I'm not willing to do it again. I don't have a life without my child. That's not the plan. You're just supposed to spend some time with her, Rini. I know, I know. I can't help it. Rini. Don't worry. Things are going to fall in place for me. I hope they do. I hope they do. <laughs> Thank you oh so God, much. I'm so happy to see you. I have to go shopping, pick a few things, and quickly run along. Come baby on, come mama, on. baby Stop. mama, baby mama. Let me see what you're doing. <laughs> All right, let's try this one now. Hello. Daddy. Hi. Welcome, sir. Hello. <laughs> Sophia. Didn't you hear me come in? Please, Fred. I beg you not to distract her. She's studying. Okay. That's fair. Regardless, Sophia. Listen, I brought you some candies. Yes! Sit, sit, sit. Fred, please. A child should have time to study and time to play. She's studying right now and I beg you not to distract her. Very well. Carry on. Anne, are you trying to steal my daughter from me? No, sir. I'm only doing what's best for her. You spoiled her with so much love and devotion. Well, Sophia is my life. You shouldn't sulk since she didn't come out to say hello to you the way she normally does. I am trying to discipline her. But that is Mr. the way... If you're not comfortable with me, I'm trying to raise a respectable young woman for you. I might as well pack my bags and leave. Well, I guess you're the expert. So, I'm sorry for my reaction. I guess I overreacted. I see this bond between you and my daughter and I guess I got jealous. I don't see why. You know what? I see some traces in her that I see in you as well. And if I didn't know better, I would vouch that you are her mother. But she is. I, I mean for, for now. May I ask you why her mother has stayed away for so long? 
that is something I don't wish to talk about. She decided to leave, and uh, I don't miss her. Sophia doesn't miss her much, so we keep it like that. You know what? On a second note, if you went away for one day, I'm sure Sophia will go on a hunger strike. Is that a good thing? Or is it a bad thing? <laughs> well, I'll see you inside. Thank you. Lara? Yes, sir. Wait, Anne. She's going to search. Okay. You ready to eat? Hmm? You sent for me, sir. Yes. As a matter of fact, I did. As you can see, there is a third plate on the table. I... I don't understand you, sir. At Anne, please sit down. <laughs> You see what I've been saying? She has your stubbornness. From today onwards, you will eat with us at the table. Um, sir, I have always had my meals. And please, it will make Sophia happy. But I want you to do so. What do you say? You look like somebody caught doing something bad. 
I will not start gossip with anybody. Please, can you mind your business and let me be? Please? See, I've told you to stop rushing after this ridiculous. Come to me. So we don't have plan a greater future. Hmm? Hello? I want my husband. <laughs> Look, Ujo, I don't have time for this. You know damn well that my working days are very tight. My schedule is very tight. I need to concentrate. What do you want? Come on, it's been a while now. I'm no longer familiar with your tight schedule or lifestyle. Tell me, who has my husband been frolicking with? Ujo, I don't have time for this. Okay? I'm gonna put the phone down on you. If your intention is to spoil my day, I will put it down, even though I don't want to. Tell me, why haven't you been picking my calls? Huh? Because I have nothing to say to you. Really? Baby, that's where you're wrong. As a family coach, you are my darling. I just wanna let you know that I'm coming back to the house. Legally, you are still my husband. You know that. No, you're not. You you went behind to start up a divorce process. Frederick, I have a right to walk in and out of your life anytime I choose to. I needed to get it. And you know what's going to happen, right? Oh, don't you? <laughs> Bitch. Expecting you. I'm sorry about what I'm wearing. Now I'll just quickly change it to something. Wait, there's nothing wrong with what you're wearing. Okay, ex except I'm, I'm really surprised. I didn't know you had such things in your box. Please, sir. I beg to be excused. I'll change something. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. I like what I see. It's it's beautiful. But we need to talk. Okay. No objection. Let's, let's go on the balcony. Okay. We need to talk. Come on. What is that? Nothing, Put sir. the drink down. Take your tray. I think you should take something refreshing. Then you can tell me what's bothering you. Go on. Take something. You'd rather I give you a sip? Very upset, and it's about Ujo. Your wife? She's not my wife. I'm sorry, but it's not funny. She's not my wife. Well, not anymore. Listen, would you call my office this morning? Something she never does. She never calls my office line. It was like some perfect timing of some sort, and I don't even take a call recently. 
Nah, I you know what? Let me just start from the very beginning so that you understand and appreciate the whole story. I met her shortly after I returned from the UK to take over my father's business. Then I was a keep fit freak and used to work out in the gym a lot. You know, I actually had a bet with my friends that I can actually talk to you. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's a joke, right? It's, it's a bet. Another incident happened that same day that finally brought us together.
After that swimming incident, we became an item. She loved to keep fit. So I found me a partner. Just looking at you quenches my hunger. Oh yeah, that's quite touching, you know. Would you? Do you love me? Oops, that is ridiculous. Of course, you know I do. Was that a proposal or what? What is this? <laughs> oh my god. Fred. I'm sure I can do better than that. <laughs> Perhaps if you should ask me properly, I will. You, my love, will you marry me? What took you so long to ask? Hmm? That's a yes. Sorry, I must have forgotten. Ah, uh, besides, baby, you worked too hard. Hmm? You know, life is too short. We need to enjoy it while we can. Yeah, I agree. Except, I'm hungry. What am I going to eat? Um, I'm sorry. Darling. Darling. It's her time you get house helps in this house because I am not cut out for stuff like this. House help? 
Yeah. You and I never discuss anything about a house help. Baby. A cook? There are enough people to help us out in this big house. You know, I like a full house, baby. Baby, this house is too big for both of us to be doing things like that. You know, we need all those things. Besides, I I I need to be found for the mm. Please. Um, we've got to run now. I'll call you later. Mm? Don't bother calling me. I'll be coming back late. Just go to bed. Don't wait for me, okay? Just fix up something to eat. Mm? Our problem started right after our honeymoon. She was a showgirl. She loves to spend money on clothes and attend different parties and events just to show off. I stayed up all night waiting for her. I was very worried because I couldn't reach her or her friends on the phone and I didn't have the faintest idea of where the party was. I must have dozed off on the couch only to wake up to see Uju very drunk. Tell you not to wait for me. Well, how do you expect me to sleep comfortably? When well, my wife is out there having fun with her bloody friends, it cannot be reached because the bloody phone is off. What is all this about? I didn't say don't hang out with your friends. I just want to be able to call you. You didn't even leave you any food to eat. Look at the time. It's 7 a.m. You left at 5. for trouble, I just know it. Would you? Would you get up? What? Oh, get up, get shit. up. I didn't ask you to go to drink. Um. Let's go. Kevin. Kevin. You only can change direction. Nature will come back to take its course. You only can change direction. Nature will come back to take its course. You only can change direction. Don't touch me, Frederick Mugoja. If you don't like my friends, I don't see the reason why you should like me. Uju, I'm your husband. And so? Are you going to choose your friends over me? Do you want your ring back? Because I wouldn't hesitate to give it back to you. I'm not asking for the ring. Come on, let's talk about this. As two mature people, husband and wife, let's talk it over. There is nothing to talk about. Fred. I hope you're not expecting me to live up to your expectations. This is the way you met me. I am like this. My parents couldn't change me. I don't see the reason why you think you can change me. Uchu, I'm not asking you to change. I just want us to talk. There is nothing to talk about, Fred. 
You know what? I just... Which way are you going? I am going to another room to have a good night rest. Since you don't want to allow me to sleep. Would you, if you leave this room, don't come back. Really? Yes. Is that a threat? Damn. Watch me. Unfortunately, my marriage has to end before it even begins. It's so freaking crazy. I didn't bargain for this man. You only can change direction. Nature will come back to take its course. You only can change direction. Nature will come back to take its course. I spoke to my lawyer this morning, and I suggest you get yourself a consultant so that they can iron out whatever financial settlements that will arise. What are you talking about? I want a divorce. <laughs> Fred. Do you just mean what you just said to me now? Ojo, we are not kids. We are mature people. And you and I know it's not working. It's over between us. So why, who are we kidding? We're not compatible. Get yourself a lawyer, please. Fred? Fred. Please. Please. Do you want to make me a laughing stock among all my friends? Fred, my parents are going to throw me out. They will throw me out of the house. Okay, I know you don't like my friends. I swear I'll cut off my friends. Fred, I know you love children. I know. Please. Thank you. Please. I swear I will change. I will. Finally, we learned to tolerate each other, but another episode began in our lives. I wanted children, but she couldn't give me one.
Within a couple of months, Uju had lost weight and was very moody. I felt for her. I understood her fears. She thought I was either going to drive her away, marry a second wife or even worse, impregnate a girl outside. But I wasn't ready to do any of that. Civilized, I'm a modern man. So I want to suggest that we adopt a child. Fred. Fred, do you mean what you just said? <laughs> yes, because I want you to be happy. Oh, Fred. Fred, thank you. Thank you. I'll be forever grateful to you. I will love you. I will adore you. I will respect you. I, I swear I will do whatever you want me to do. It's okay. It's okay, my love. I love you very much and I will do anything to make you happy. You know you're a man and who do know how to go about adopting a child. Just just leave everything for me, okay? I I'll sort out the necessary legal angles, okay? Just leave it for me. Alright. I have a problem with that. Thank you. My God. You endured a lot. You are rare. I can't believe a man can be this, this tolerant. I guess that's, that's just why I am. That's my nature. That's what I am. This is madness. No woman in her right senses would leave a man as kind and, and loving like you. <sighs> Only Uju. Only a woman like Uju would do something like that. Well, she came back home with the baby and went right back to her old life. Doing the same old thing, acting the same way as if we never had that discussion. She said she was frustrated with marriage and she wanted out. I didn't have a choice. <laughs> I accepted it but not until she made me sign a document that I was going to pay her 1.5 million naira at the end of every month for her upkeep. What? And you agreed to that? She doesn't deserve a penny from you. Uju isn't stupid. It's one thing she's not. She's smart. She brought the baby home. And what she did, she took my name out of the legal documents. And that's where my problem is. That means technically, Sophia doesn't belong to me. She's mean. Quite extremely mean. Well, I called you because I wanted to tell you that Uju is coming back. Here? Yes. And there is nothing I can do about it for now until the legal documents are ready to divorce papers.
That's my problem. She might just take Sophia away from me. No! She can't take Sophia away. I am her real mother. Sophia will choose you any day over her. We just have to be careful on how we go about things. I am going to offer Uju a deal that she cannot turn down. I will not let her take my child away from me. She is my daughter. It would be. It's all right. Don't, don't cry. It's okay. Here, take a drink. Shall we? Gently. Gently, I'm coming. Auntie, welcome. How are you? Fine. I want to tell you something. Okay, what is it? I want to tell you that Madame is back. What? The original Madame. As I'm talking to you, she's inside the house. Okay, thank you. You're yeah, welcome. Shut up your mouth! Who permitted you to speak before me? Sorry. If you must continue living in this house, I don't want to ever see you dressed this way. Your darling. Oh, it's your mommy. Okay, baby, regardless of what that coward has told you, I am your mother. You belong to me, okay? Come on, let's go upstairs so that you tell me what has been happening around, okay? I'm still around. Ma. I wasn't talking to you, fool! Yes, ma'am. I don't think so. Ma. I hardly forget faces. But I know I have seen this face somewhere. It will come back to me. I had my husband walking. What is he? I guess you need orientation in this house now that I'm back. So where is my husband? Am I not talking to you both? Oh, madam. What do you want to do backyard? Backyard. Yes, sir. When have you become a doctor to the maid? Why would you talk to your husband like that? Especially when you haven't seen me for more than a year. Is this somebody new here? I'm sorry, darling. I'm so sorry. And why didn't you inform me that you were coming back home? Do I need to tell you that I'm coming back to my house? I guess not. Look at you. You look stunning. After more than a year, you still look good. Thank you. Fred, if 
your maid is ill, let her go to the hospital. Yes, sure. You only can change direction. Nature will come back to take its course. You only can change direction. Nature will come back to take its course. You only can change direction. Why did you come back here? How come you sneaked up on me? I knew your ever gentleman composure was just for the house help and your new live in lover. Okay, what are you saying? You heard me. What is a hired hand doing close to your room if not for you to be sneaking into her room anytime you want? Ujo, upstairs her room is closer to Sophia's room and not mine. And that is because I want her to be close to the girl. My daughter, you mean? Maybe if you were around to play mother, we won't be having this discussion. There will be no need for Anne. I'm a bad wife. Yes. A bad mother? Uh -huh. What else can you say? I want to say get out of this house. I want you out. <laughs> you are dreaming because I came to take care of my dear husband and my daughter. Okay? Would you, what do you want? Is it money? Mention the price. I will give it to you. I just want you to leave Sophia and I alone. Frederick Mokocha, you cannot buy me with money. Get that into your thick head. You only can change direction. Nature will come back to take its course. I know you all remember the routine in this house, except for our new maid. Well, if I may correct you, madam, I was not employed into this house as a maid. I am a trained child nurse. <laughs> what you're trying to say is you are a trained nanny, right? Before I was rudely interrupted. Louisa. Madam. Why is my husband and my daughter looking on the fed? But madam, they are proper fed and the menu exactly where I was heading to. What happened to the menu? Madam, I... Uh, I, I, I am extremely sorry, madam. I did adjust the menu because the menu was filled with carbohydrate diets, which is not suitable for a growing child, neither is it healthy for an adult. What is that your name again? Anne. Anne O'Dav. Whatever. You had no right to, but I will overlook it. Let's look at the area of accommodation. Anne. You have to move down to the boys' quarters where you rightfully belong. Lara. Yes, madam. Your services in this house is no longer required. I can tolerate anything, but I hate gossips and snoops. Would you? Lara has been with us for years. She's an exceptional character. And I don't think it's fair for you to do what you These are my domestic staffs, Fred. Employed by me. I don't see how it affects your office where you alone dominates. In fact, I was about saying the expensive uh, maid who prefers to be called a trained nanny, which is not even relevant. But I will excuse her, bearing in mind that she renders some other services to my husband, which I am not in a great hurry to resume right now. You can go back to your duties. Every other move is a ploy to trap her victim. As she goes the length all the way, getting down her victims. If you wanna get stuck with her, you had better be out for that. Cause she's cunning. Just by the <sighs> I hate to agree with her, but you, you're a coward. Turn around the time, you only can change direction. Nature will take its course. Nature will come back to take its course. 
would be, would be, she is mean, she is bad. Me, did you actually tell him that? Oh yes, a coward. That's what he is. How else do you describe a man who cannot stand his ground? <laughs> Girl, but I thought you made it clear to me that his um, only weak point is because he's scared that his wife might take Sophie away from him. That woman is so insultive. No, I cannot take her insults anymore. I have left and I am not going back. Okay, so what happens to Sophia? I don't know. I'll figure out something. <laughs> oh my goodness. I cannot believe this. <laughs> so Girl, it just dawned on me that you're actually a greater coward. Yes. You, you're leaving the dragon, abandoning the man who truly loves you. And the child that you fought so hard to reunite with. I just said I was going to work out something. I will. I will. <laughs> That's a weakling consolation, girl. I mean, Fred and Sophia needs you. If you cannot sacrifice and take all that woman's insult, I'm wondering who will. Or perhaps you're waiting for Fred to do all the fighting and then you just go back there triumphantly and, you know, take the prize. I just said I will work out something. I will. I will. Girl, the truth is bitter, they say. Why, thank you very much. I don't like what you're saying. <laughs> you need to go back to the house and fight for Hello. Yeah. I'm here to see Anne. Um, Friend. Okay. Friend. How? What are you doing here? How do you know where to find me? Well, if you want it to be a secret, maybe you shouldn't have allowed my driver to drop you anywhere near this compound. All I had to do was ask questions. Well, Jennifer, meet my ex-boss, Mr. Fred Mahokocha. My best friend, Jennifer. How do you do? How do you do? What do you want here? Well, this is home to me. Besides, I cannot stand the man who cannot defend his staffs. Oh, or as your lovely wife would call them, maids? Um, I'll um, excuse myself. That was before your wife came back. Well, she ceased to be my wife the minute she went back to her old life. You 
can only be a mother by enduring the insults and the abuses from Ujo. That's the only way you can prove it. Well, at least until we get what we want. like her own. seems to be a chemistry between you and my daughter. You're right, ma'am. I honestly must apologize for my character. It won't happen again. I also consider that you amuse my husband. You can move back in. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Frederick Mugocha, I am enjoying every bit of it. I can see that. Why did you think I came back? To be a lovely wife to you and play a mother to you? Hell no. I came to frustrate you. Is that right? so calm and beautiful out here. Are you an admirer of nature? I am not interested in things like that. <laughs> Neither am I. Um, that is why I am desired to be a fun seeker. You know, I love beautiful things. I love to be admired by handsome and rich men in the society. I hate to be detected to. But anyways, the information given to me has been used. And um, it has been helping me out all this while. I respect you, madam. And um, there is no way I was to buy and watch one opportunist to destroy your home. Thank you very much. Ooh. I've got a check of one million naira for you. One 
Emilio. <laughs> Thank you very much, ma. Thank you very much. I wasn't expecting to be rewarded, madam. Thank you. Thank You're you. Welcome. I'm so grateful. It's okay. Anybody who is nice to me should expect anything nice from me too. You have been nice to me and that's why I'm rewarding you for all you have been doing. Thank you. You're welcome. But I have one little problem. I don't know if you're going to help me out. Just one little problem. Well, uh, if there's something that I can do, I won't hesitate to be of help. Yeah. I need you to find us something. Find out something about this character, Anne or Duffy. Uh, Madam, do you believe in Juju? Come on. Of course, everybody believes in evil, but honestly, believe me, I don't indulge myself in things like that. You know? I have a particular approach of things. Well, madam, I just felt that for a lonely placed person like Anne to attract your husband and win over your daughter's love, she must be using something. And that thing is Juju. They asked us what she's using, but I don't care. I'm here to destroy Fred. Why? Because I know nothing like love is going to exist between both of us. Dig up anything you can about this Anne. Any useful information you know I can use to trap this character down. I need it. Uh, madam, I have an investigator. If I can tell him, and um, I know that he can help us with um, some stuff, suspicious. But, madam, it will cost a lot of money, a huge amount of money. Yes, I do. Okay. You know, you can keep this. This is 500,000. And I'm going to do more. What I need you to do right now is, is fill in your name and do what you're supposed to do. Oh, just consider it done. Consider everything done, madam. All right, madam. Uh, let me go. I'll be going now so I can start. <laughs> you know? All right, um, I'll leave you now. All right. Bye. You know how to get to me. I should know what to do. <laughs> Bye. Hello, my love, my angel. How are you today? What can I buy? I want ice cream and a Benson shirt. Okay, I didn't know that you were a fan of Benton. I love Benton. Yes, Daddy. Okay, let me speak to your new mom. I love you. When somebody gives you something, what do you say? Thank you, Daddy. Good girl. Thank you, Daddy. Good girl. Mm. <laughs> Hello, Fred. Hi, my love. How are you? I don't know. How is work? Work is fine, except I am missing you and you still haven't told me what I ask of you. No, I won't. I said that before and I will have ears. So will you meet me up when I get home you will welcome me for the <laughs> Like hell I will, then I get a dagger in my back. No, no, I'm on a serious note. My lawyers are working on the divorce document, so we will be back, okay? <laughs> You're just trying to be romantic. Now concentrate on work. Uh-huh. <laughs> Bye-bye, just be careful. Oh, 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 hold, hold. Say bye-bye to daddy. Bye-bye, daddy. Good girl. Bye. Why are you acting as if you've just seen a ghost? Um, I, um, I, I didn't know you were around now. This is my house. 
Or do I need to inform you before coming? No, of course not. Hi, darling. Let's go buy ice cream. No. Okay. I want to buy Benton shirts, wristwatches, clothing, and many more. No. I want to stay with Tati and. See how close my daughter is to her. I've done everything possible to draw her close to me. I am your mother and I decide what you do. Okay? Come on, let's go. No. What? Let's go. No. Let's go. No. My God, let's go. No. Every other move is a ploy to trap her victim. As she goes the length, all the way, getting down her victims. If you wanna get stuck with her, you had better be out for that. Cause she's cunning Just by the loops You only can change direction Oh yeah And child will come back to take his toe You can turn around the time But at least come inside This impatience will not solve anything Besides, you haven't eaten anything since you got back How can I eat? How can I relax? I haven't even found time to change my clothes and that crazy woman has taken my daughter out. What do you expect me to do? She's playing us, Fred. She's playing us. Listen, she's trying to scale us. That's what she's trying to do. I have no idea. You don't know what could you capable of. What is she capable of? She could be on the next flight when my daughter to the UK. Yes, she can do that. But what am I supposed to do then? She can? Fred? Fred? Oh, I can't live without Sophie. So what is this? You're scaring me. You're scaring me. You. You know the circumstances. You know that given circumstances, why did you allow her to take Sophia away? You should have known better. What was I supposed to do? At least you should have insisted going with them. You should have gone with them, knowing how careless and reckless she is. You expect me to stop her from going out with Sophia? Why? What are you here to take care of my daughter? That's why you are in this house. Oga this upset before. Please don't be offended. Okay? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. I'm just confused. What are we going to do? Eh? And say something now. I don't know. Why are you crying? Let's just think of what to do, please. And say something now.
everybody looking as if something terrible has happened. Why did you take my daughter? I took my daughter out. Do you have any problem with that? At least you should have told somebody where I you were taking her. Wait, Drake. Do I need any permission to take my daughter out? Besides, we had fun. Darling, didn't we? I want to see aunt. You little brat. I don't even know if you have been bewitched. And you, what are you doing there? Um, madam. You big mouth gossip. No, I wanted to shut. Sorry for the outburst, all right? I was worried about Sophia. It's nothing. If you don't mind, I'd like to take her upstairs. It's past her bedtime. So don't even bother wondering. Are you the only person here? No, no. I, I live here. Are you sure? chat with you. But first, do you live here alone? I beg your pardon? How could you just bite into my house and start questioning me? But you know Anna Duffy, don't you? I can see you know her. Are you expecting someone? Go. That's good. Oh, so I might as well spend the night here with you. How about that? Never mind. You're not even my type of girl. Back to business. Who is Anne Adafi to you? Who are you? I am Inspector Sam, a police officer. Now answer my question. I don't know her. Does this make any meaning to you? No. I don't recognize her. But she knows you. 
Her name is Anne Odafe. She also said that you stole her certificate. What? No, that's not true. How did it happen? I said, how did it happen? I just told you that I don't know her. You don't know her? Yes. Do you know this other Anna Daffa? My sister, it seems you don't know the gravity of the crime you've committed. Do I take you to the station for questioning? Or do you still want to speak to me? We can reach a compromise only if you're willing to operate. That is only if you're going to be smart. <laughs> He can't question you at home instead of a police station. But Winnie, he came with your applications and your photographs. I just didn't know how to deny it. Anne Odafe, I know nothing about her. Tell me about her. Okay, Anne, I've known her since my days in secondary school. And then when you and I were trying to get you into Fred's office, I remember that she, that's what she studied and I thought your her certificate would be very useful for your interview. Did you tell her why you needed the certificates? Her certificate? Yes, I mean, but I just told her that a friend needed to get a job. <laughs> She's well employed, very comfortable. She didn't really ask any question. Jenny. Yes? Does she know me? I mean, did you tell her about me or where I was going in search of the job? Oh no, come on with me. I'm not that daft. I mean, immediately the police inspector left here. I called her and she said that maybe, you know, he chased her from school and all that. Winnie, the pretense game is over. No, it's not. This is obviously not an official investigation. If it were, you and Anne would have been picked up. <sighs> Something is not right somewhere. Something is wrong. Something is not right. For we in your box. Are you a client or? I know Fred just came into town. Well, she's not around. But if you can leave a message, I'll pass it to her. <laughs> uh, when is she likely to come around? Because uh, it's important that I see her and her phone number is not going through. Um, sir, Madame has been out of the country for some time now. Really? Where actually did she travel to? Okay, um, I'm family. I will appreciate if you can give me a Okay. Thanks all the same. Okay. You didn't tell me your name, sir. Get it. She knows me. But if you leave your phone number, I am certain she'll call you. I don't think that'll be necessary for now. 
Thank you. Would you like to take something? Oh yeah, uh, a bottle of more would be Okay. Waiter, bottle of more please. Okay, sir. I was work today. Oh fine, just tell me. I have the information you seek. But it's a little more complicated. Because we are looking at a case of fraud and impersonation. My advice is that uh, there's more to this case. And uh, that cannot be properly ascertained. Except we round up the culprit. Okay. My boss just wanted a quiet investigation. No charges. That character working with you could be dangerous. And the only way we can find out is by arresting her. No. My boss does not want any publicity at all. Look, um, I promise you, we'll simply fire them. We'll just fire them. I have a feeling that you're not telling me all that I need to know. Oh, come on. Why are you talking like this? But... The whole information is in there. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ah, <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, I have to leave now. Okay. It has begun again. Just at the point when I think life was to be fair to me for once. Something creeps up from nowhere and shatters my careful plan. There's only one solution. To tell Fred the truth and damn the consequence. But to pick up Sophia and disappear into thin air. But whichever decision I choose, I'm still going to hurt Fred. This is really amazing. I knew it from the onset that She's not the character she claims and made us to believe she is. If she is what your investigator reported she is, then what is she still doing in my house as a paid hand? I know. It's the same thing. No, the same thing. I know. What she's trying to do is to win your husband over. And she's succeeding in every way. How dare you say a thing like that to me? I'm sorry. Are you not? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I beg no face. I beg no face. Hmm? What I'm trying to say is that your husband, Mr. Mokocha, is falling for her. He's falling for her already. <laughs> and it, let me tell you, you have to look into this matter. Mm -hmm. Fall for her. As what? Tell me, how is he going to fall for her? Of course, you know it's not possible. You see, I have an ace over him. And if he tries to betray me, I swear to God who made me, I will make sure I destroy him. Madam, 
You know they have your PC. I know not lie to you. I know not lie to you at all. <laughs> Manda, see. See. If I see my organ know who she be. And he's trying to pretend not to. And then, uh, that girl, she get a move. She get what she did look for your house. Madam, you for just collect my own advice now. Make it just carefully. Make it just a full one. You know how I'm coming to school. What else does she want if not my husband? I mean, she's not as poor as she wants us to believe. <gasps> Madam, now you talk like this. Now you talk like this. You know whether she be kidnapped. Madam. <laughs> a kidnapper. And who does she want to kidnap? Frederick? Ah. Uh, perhaps Sophia. If she's kidnapped, Sophia, what will you do? Madam, considering the, the kidnapping story that we are hearing in this town every day, every day, she might kidnap Sophia. Madam, what will you do? Does she go carry on? Kidnapper. That is totally out of it. Uh, if that was what she wanted to do, she would have done that long time before I came back to the house. Hey. I know I have seen that face somewhere. I'm trying to sketch out where I have seen that face. Hey. Wait, remember now, Madame, remember. Shut that. up! Please. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm getting it now. Oh. No. If that is what I am thinking right now, this is not too good. Mm. Talk now, maybe you could just think. Shut up, you talk I, I'm, too much. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. No face, no face. No face. Hey, yeah, you don't remember? Why not talk to me now? Talk to me. Okay, no vest. Okay. Yeah. Once upon a time, there was a tortoise. He had a friend who lived a few male miles. miles away. Then he thought about his cap. It was a very big cap. It could take some porridge to eat. So he removed the cap. That Fred has something for her. Eat. It's not and in doubt. If he gets to know who she truly is, will he destroy what they have? Or will he destroy me? The porridge burnt his head. He felt no wonder she's so confident she is here to destroy me I'm certain she knows what is happening because no other person will have the interest to take up my background now the question is how does she use the information they talked for some minutes then his friend said, Would you like to look around my new house? Oh, yes, replied the person. Anne, I would like to speak with you when you are through with that. Of course. just as I know you were not poor. So, I suggest you already know the reason why I called you here. No ma'am, I don't. Tell me, when are you going to drop this Anne or Daphne thing? Or should I call you Winifred? Huh? Who's you? Who's you who came to the hospital with Auntie because they're pretending to be her sister? Yes. I was the one that came to buy the baby. I did not sell my child. <laughs> 
I have seen how well you spent the money I gave to you. What else do you want? I want to be close to my child. She is no longer your daughter. I paid one cool million naira for her. I did not get a dime from the money you claim you paid, other than my hospital bills settled by Auntie Ngozi. I don't care. Listen to me. I am being very reasonable for not inviting police into this case. Listen, call Fred, tell him whatever you wish. You're very good at this. Call him, tell him. But I just want you to leave my house within 24 hours. If not, you will regret this venture. You cannot threaten me. I will do worse than threaten Because fraud and impersonation can keep you away in a jail for a long time. Talk less of kidnap. What? Tell me, which judge is going to listen to your cock and bull story? A woman who goes to hospital, gave birth all of a sudden, she sells her child for her stupid lifestyle. Later goes back to forge a fake document to get into the house where the baby is and perhaps to kidnap the baby and sell it to someone else. I will not do that to my own child. I love her. I'm just wondering how Fred is going to react to all this knowing that the angel he knows is a devil in sheep clothing everything you said now is not true and you know it this is a mother's love i just want to be close to my child and listen to me whatever you call yourself i am leaving my house right now i wouldn't want to go and come back and still meet you hanging around you can't do this to me please please Just a serpent stuck in the closet When she moves around concealing She makes her plants believing She's so pretty and she's got some dough To throw around and walk her way To things her heart desire Every other move is a ploy to trap her victim I, I called you here because I've noticed you've been keeping to yourself and you don't look too well. I think you have to see a doctor. I don't need to see a doctor, Fred. I'm fine. I've made up my mind to leave. Because I we miss you and Sophia. But there's nothing I can do. I don't find it exciting here the way I used to. Is it about Uju? No. I haven't even told her my decision. No, please tell me. What did she tell you? Is she trying to blackmail you? I won't put it past her because that's her way. Fred. I just don't find it challenging here anymore. Perhaps I need something more challenging. And you see me acting calm. It's not because I want to. I have been taking things easy simply because I don't want to spoil my chances. I'm looking out for a way so that I can get Sophia legally. That's why you see me keeping calm. But I'm not going to let anything come between you and I. I will not allow that because I'm going to get to the bottom of this. You are not going anywhere. Fred, I... Listen, I... concerning me, cancel it. Call our clients, let them know I took an emergency vacation. Is that it? Okay, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, it's beginning to bite in when I'm with me or whatever is happening. And that foolish, pompous wife was his finally leaves him. And now, I know he will take notice of me and know that I'm the right kind of woman for him. Even if it means for me to see Baba. I, Ego, am destined to be Mrs. Ego Frederick Wankocha. Nothing stops it. Nothing.
Kau nak sendiri kan mahu yang mana lain? Kau lain jalan mana cuma reaching perang mahu jadi sah. Okay sir. Okay. Yes sir. Any message? No sir. <laughs> Love you. What <laughs> oh, um, I, Ego Namani, will be the one to benefit from the spoils of this war. See you, sir. What brings you here? I hope there's no problem. Uh, there's no problem, sir. It's just that I've been trying to reach you, but uh, I don't have a personal phone number. And Miss Ego always takes your call. Well, uh, Inspector, you know, my schedule is very tight. I'm a very busy man. I I'm sorry about that. I just hope everything is okay. Everything is fine, sir. Uh, sir, there's this other case I just finished gathering information for you. I wish we can discuss it because. That an or Daphne needs to be prosecuted. Prosecuted? Which, which case? Didn't Miss Ego give you my report? No. What report? She assigned me to dig up things about a member of your domestic staff. My staff? Yes. Inspector. What is it? I ask you a simple question. Where is Anne? Am I your lover's keeper? Hmm? Lara. Sir. Where is Anne? She has packed out, sir. Thank you. Let's see how it will end. What are you still doing here? Punish you, use less gossip. How she goes the length all the way, getting down her victims. If you wanna get stuck with her, you had better be out for that. Cause she's cunning. Just by the loose. Um, good day, sir. I want to see Anne. Um, is there a problem? No, there is no problem. Can I come in? Yeah. Um, sir, um, she's not here. Jennifer, is she really not in? Or well, she told you to tell me that she's not here. No, oh, she's not around. Listen to me. I have an issue. Okay? I need to get to the bottom of something. And I know you can help me. You're partly involved in this. I need to know who is Anne. Is winning. I'm listening. Jennifer, I'm listening. No, wait. Wait! No, no, don't, don't. Don't tell me that Anne is involved in some scandalous, fraudulent activity. She's still a good person. Don't, don't, don't even say that! Winnie is not involved in any fraudulent act. God, she has sacrificed too much just to get close to her daughter. Her who? Her what? Da daughter. Her daughter. Her daughter? Did you did? Wait, 
Wait, wait, wait. Did you say her daughter? Who's her daughter? I... Oh my god. You... Can you... Can you know? No, I didn't know! I'm sorry I screamed at you, alright? But I have a problem. I have an issue here. But I need to know what is happening. I need you to tell me everything that you know. Just, just, just tell me everything. It doesn't matter what you tell me. Because I know I still love Anne. Really. I still love her. Just, just tell me what you know, please. I need to solve my problem. How did you know I was in? I, um... Uh... Anne, why? <clears throat> why? Why didn't you tell me? Huh? I'm human. I would have understood. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Please, forgive me. Didn't I tell you my own story? I needed you to relate to it, that's what I told you. Now how am I supposed to trust you if you can keep something like this away from me? I'm sorry. At first, I didn't know what you wanted from me. Later I got scared. I was scared that if you got to know the truth, you would hate me. Jennifer told me everything. You have proven that you love your daughter in spite of everything. I forgive you. I forgive you. Fred. Thank you. You're a good man. And even if I never get my daughter legally again, I've learned one thing. All men are not the same. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, uh, guys. Perhaps we could just try and get in touch with the woman that helped with adopting the baby. I'm sure she has something to hide. Well, maybe I should call my lawyer. No. I can handle Auntie Gossie. Okay. How are you doing, madam? I'm fine. Good. Um, let me introduce myself. My name is Frederick Wangokucha. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. Let me not bore you. I will go straight to the point. The reason why we are here. I hope you still have in your possession the agreement document that you had with Winnie and my wife. Yes, everything was legal, sir. Okay, interesting. You have the document, and that's all we need to know. Because as we speak, the Inspector General is very much interested in this case. Once you have the document, it's fine. First of all, madam, do you know this lady? Yes, we transacted business once. <laughs> what sort of business? Is there any problems? Is she causing any problems? You know what? I think we should just let the police 
get involved in this at this point. Let the law take its course because she says she has all the legal documents. Everything is straight, right? Oh, don't misunderstand me, please. You don't need to involve the police. We can resolve whatever amicably, please. Like he suggested, I think the police should actually get involved. Please, I don't want any problems. Please. Madam, can you tell me the name of the lawyer that prepared the document that you used during your transaction? Has it got a name? To be truthful, there was no lawyer involved. I arranged the documents so it looks as if it's legal. Okay, so in essence, you are saying there was no legal binding document. Technically, Sophia doesn't belong to me. There was no lawyer, right? And that's child trafficking. Are you aware? Uh, no, no, no. She's your, she's, she's your daughter and the mother is... The mother is what? Go on. I'm here. The mother is what? You know what, ladies? I think it's enough. This is enough. Madam, thank you very much. Yes, sir. I don't want any trouble. Please. You can see I have the little daughter here that I'm looking after. I beg you. Please. We can sort everything out and get this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello? Oh, oh, madam. Yeah, oh, sorry. Um, is it true that um, Anne or Whitney, whichever, is Sophia's real mother? What sort of question is that? Madam, I'm sorry. It's just that um, a junior lawyer in the chambers of our company, legal representative, just informed me about the complicity of Sophia's adoption. I'll, I'll call you back. Madam. Thank you. Madam. Hello? Ah, she called the phone on me. Just telling her something. feel anything for you. She only came here to destroy what we have. What we have? Yes, can't you see it? She came to kidnap her daughter. Along the line, it didn't work out. She's just trying to pour her frustration on us. Can't you see that? Let me tell you something, would you? We shared nothing. Nothing. And whatever you think we had, it was nothing but a huge mistake. Get that in your head. Fred. 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 What are you doing? Get, get off my leg. Leave my leg! Leave me! Just, will you stop it? Please leave my leg. Hey, 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 hey! You have guests. People are here to see you. They're here because of you. Nice to see you again. Please, can we talk in private? Please. There is nothing to talk about. What are you waiting for? Please get her. Friends, you know we are one big family. We stopped being a family more than a year ago! Please, you please 
Can you please don't do that? Please! Madam, this is a very serious offense. Child trafficking. I am a legal practitioner. I should advise you to cooperate with the authority. I should advise you that to take legal aid afterwards. Officer, do you? Madam, you're under arrest. You take her away. Wait. You take her away.